Hello everyone, I'm Trestic44, also known as Fly, and welcome to this Let's Play of Assassin's Creed. Last episode, we finished looking through all the things we needed to do in here. Now that we've done that, it's time for us to actually go to the Bureau and find out what exactly we're supposed to be doing. So, let's head in here. Ah, Altai. A little bird told me you'd be paying a visit. Al Muallam has ordered the execution of Gagne Denaplus. The Grand Master of the Knights Hospitalier? Indeed. And I have already determined when and how to strike. Share your knowledge with me then. He lives and works within the Order's hospital, northwest of here. Rumors speak of atrocities committed within its walls. It seems the good doctor enjoys experimenting on innocent citizens. Most of them kidnapped and brought here from Jerusalem. Clever. By stealing his subjects from another city, he avoids arousing too much suspicion here. But back to the matter at hand. What is your plan? Gagne keeps mainly to his quarters inside the hospital, though he leaves occasionally to inspect his patients. It's when he makes his rounds that I will strike. It's clear you've given this some thought. I give you leave to go. Thank you. Remove this stain from Akka, Altai. Perhaps it will help cleanse your own. Rest here until you're ready to begin your mission. Of course. Never Alright, strike Garnier while he is tending his patients before he removes himself from the world around him. Okay, so let's look through the information we have here. So we have, Garnier hides behind the walls of the Hospitalier Fortress. I doubt the patients within afford him much protection. Killing him will be simple. Getting into the fortress, however, is another matter entirely. Garnier removes himself from the world around him while tending his patients one by one. This obsession will spell his end. Garnier's letter is quite strange. He references an arms dealer in Damascus, most likely Tamir, and a second man in Jerusalem. What secret thing unites these men? Men who should hate one another. Master, progress is slow. We should endeavor to reclaim what's been taken from us, or I fear we'll be discovered before we have a chance to act. My work on substitutes shows some promise, as certain local flora can be used to induce a similar state. Be warned, however, the effects are only temporary, and subjects tend to develop a resistance, requiring increased dosage. Unfortunately, they can only take so much before exhaustion claims them. I've lost far too many in this manner, and it breaks my heart. Your man in Jerusalem should be commended for his diligence. My supplies remain sufficient, and I am no longer forced to use locals, helping to defray suspicion. I do worry about our loss in Damascus, though I have sufficient arms and armor to continue for a while longer. He will need to be replaced within the month, however, or our soldiers will be forced to wield table knives. Which brings me to my next concern. What do you intend to do about our enemy? I fear that the losses we've suffered are but the start. I feel secure enough within the hospital's walls, but it would be best if we dealt with this trouble before it has a chance to bloom. My men are yours for the task if it's required. Merely make your desires known to me. Your brother in peace. Hmm. The hospitaliers are replacing all the candelabras within the fortress. I could use these to navigate the rafters. Additionally, the workers seem to have pointed out a few of Garnier's more personal projects affected by the repairs. Uh huh. So that's a map. It looks like those are the candelabras, and those are the personal patients. Okay. Some of Garnier's guards have abandoned their posts. The archers patrolling the roof are at a disadvantage. A few seconds is all I need to clear a path. Hmm. So that's all the guards. Interesting. Okay. Garnier lets his patients roam the halls of his fortress freely. No one, save scholars, may enter his personal workspace. Apart from ar the archers defending the rooftops, slipping in should prove simple enough. So if I stay, so if I sneak in with some scholars, I could get in. All right. So I need to get to the roof. Let's see here. It's that building over there. Hmm. 
This time I know that even though I see it, I need to actually take care of things around the outside first. Why are you... Alright, getting closer. Must be close. Yes, it'll be just over this ledge to the west. Is this it? Yeah, that's it over there. I can see the guards on the roof. Just ignore me. Alright. So there's gonna be guards up here. Hmm. I just saw one. Just gotta get a little closer. Leave. There. There's another one right here. Carefully and quietly, I can get to this one. And I think I can get these two easily. Okay, maybe not. Status exposed, must vanish to continue. Alright. That was an attempt that didn't go too well. Okay, there goes that one. Don't think I'll be able to get those two. Let me look at what I have here. Uh... Okay. Those are the guards I need to, uh, those are the two guards I can't get rid of. There's one more on top of this roof over here. You have no business here. Leave. Okay, leaving. Now that I see you, There we go. I think there was... I think it said there was one up here. Get rid of any of... Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Perfect. No, I want you to get up there. There we go. All right. Ow. 
Okay, so it suggests that this would be a way in. If I remember right. Yes, it suggests that this is a way in. I asked you to retrieve the patient, not to kill him. There, there. Everything will be all right. No! Give me <coughs> Don't touch me! Not again! Cast out this fear, else I cannot help you. Help me? Like you helped the others? You took their souls! I saw. I saw! But not mine. No! You'll not have mine! Uh, take hold of yourself. Do you think this gives me pleasure? Do you think I want to hurt you? But you leave me no choice. Every kind word matched by the back of his hand. All lies and deception. He won't be content until all bow before him. You should not have done that. Return him to his quarters. I'll be along once I've tended to the You others. can't keep me here. I'll escape again. No, you won't. Break his legs, both of them. Oof. Oh, jeez. You are so sorry. Have you people nothing better to do? So, how do I get in? <laughs> ah, the chandeliers. Why are you- I wanted you to get on the chandelier. Thank you. Okay. Now. There's the guy I need to take out. Why did you not jump? How did you do it? I have my way. Just jump onto the thing! God freaking damn it. Fine. So much for this plan. <sighs> Nothing worked how it was supposed to. <coughs> so much for a skilled assassination when everything wasn't working right. Oh, and I guess I've assassinated him. Ah, alas, now, yes. The endless dream calls to me. But before I close my eyes, I must know what will become of my children. You mean the people made to suffer your cruel experiments? They'll be free now to return to their homes. Homes? What homes? The sewers? The portals? The prisons that we dragged them from? You took these people against their will. 
Yes. What little will there was for them to have. Are you really so naive? Do you appease a kind child simply because he wails? But I want to play with fire, father. What would you say? As you wish. Ah. Then you'd answer for his burn. These are not children, but men and women full grown. In body, perhaps, but not in mind. Which is the very damage I sought to repair. I admit, without the peace of Eden, which you stole from us, my progress was slowed. But I heard mixtures and extracts. My guards are proof of this. They were madmen before I found and freed them from the prisons of their own minds. <sighs> and with my death, madmen they will be again. You truly believe you were helping them? It's not what I believe. It's what I know. Well, there we go. Now I just need to get out of here somehow. I'll get you! I just need to get out of this place. Yeah, there's no other point. Let's just run. That assassination attempt did not go well at all because the controls just didn't want to behave. Ah, very annoying. Happen here. No one will be able to find me. <coughs> and once it's clear, there we go. All right. And in we are. What news, Altai? Gagne is dead. Yeah. Then you should return to Masaya with news of your victory. There is something else. Speak it then, or would you have me read your mind? What do you think he wanted from these people? That he would keep them and experiment on them as he did? Yours is not to ask, but act, Altair. It doesn't matter what he did or why. Only that he's dead. But Gagne seemed to believe he was helping these people. Is that what you saw? No. What I saw was not a place of healing, but of pain. Then why are we having this conversation? I... I don't know. Forget I spoke of it. Hmm. I already have. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Okay, good. Target has been eliminated. I could return to al Mualim. Oh. Sure, fast forward the memory. You can use stealth kills to create a distraction by throwing a knife, pushing somebody off. Have you news for me, Altair? Gagne de Plus is dead. Excellent. We could not have hoped for a more agreeable outcome. And yet... What is it? The doctor insisted his work was noble. And looking back, those who were supposedly his captives seemed grateful to the man. Not all of them, but enough to make me wonder. How did he manage to turn enemy into friend? Leaders will always find ways to make others obey them. And that is what makes them leaders. When words fail, they turn to coin. When that won't do, they resort to baser things. Bribes, threats, and other types of trickery. There are plants, Altair. Herbs from distant lands that can cause a man to take leave of his senses. So great are the pleasures it brings. 
Men may even become enslaved by it. You think these men were drugged then? Poisoned? Yes, if it truly was as you describe it. Herbs. This seems a strange method of control. Our enemies have accused me of the same. The promise of paradise. They think it is a garden, overflowing with women and pleasure. But I drug you as Garnier did his men, and tempt you with his rewards. They do not know the truth of it. Which is how it must be. But if they knew the truth of it, that all we seek is peace, then they would not fear us, and we would have no hold over them. Go. It is time you continued with your work. Another rank is restored to you, as is a piece of your equipment. Thank we'll you. speak again when the next has fallen. So what do I get back here? Throwing knives! And tackle. Huh. Was this how was this path always open? I don't think so. There's one of these that I was missing. There's still two more somewhere, I don't know where. Hmm. There's one. Apparently one more in this place, I don't know where. Might be back here and I just didn't see it. So I didn't know this was a place we could go to. Of some of these things. Okay, perhaps I don't know where the last <coughs> where the last one is. Excuse me, but I think we're fine now. All right, let's see if there's. Uh, oh, sorry. What the fool, Just trying to get out of here. All right, do we have any uh, combat training to learn here? It seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield the blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. Uh, throwing knives. Sure, let's learn that. Press 1 and press 0 to throw them. That's my students. Okay, that's simple. Good to know. I need to have the knife selected in order to do it. Yes, you go ahead, exit the tutorial. Alright, and we can leave this place. And with that, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Next episode, we'll head to Jerusalem for the next assassination we need to deal with. And of course, I'm probably not going to know who it is we're going to be killing until I've already gotten all the information on how to do it. Because that's just how these things tend to end up run, end up going. We'll deal with that later. But that'll be in the next episode. So until then, I am Chesuk44, also known as Falai. That is all, Tair. This has been a Let's Play of Assassin's Creed. <laughs> And I shall see you all next time.